Millions of dehumidifiers are tonight recalled because they can set your entire house on fire. 13 Investigates showed you that problem last night. Yeah, but wait until you see what happened just a few hours later. Our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel is here with this astonishing story. Bob. Jenny and Scott, we've been getting emails and phone calls all day thanking us for last night's investigation. All over central Indiana, families are now realizing the dehumidifier in their basement is dangerous and under recall. But the family I met just a little while ago did not see our report, and they wish they had. The Wood family was just playing a game at their kitchen table last night when they smelled smoke. Tom went downstairs to check things out. But when I opened it, it was just so full of smoke, S smoke started rolling out. And I stuck my head around the corner and I saw flames. I couldn't see what was on fire, but I just saw flames. Tom quickly grabbed a fire extinguisher as his wife and daughter called 911. We evac evacuated the house right away. By the time they got back in, it was clear where the fire had started. That is a dehumidifier. Um, evidently it caught fire and melted in place. It was just a melted mess. Carmel and Westfield firefighters were amazed to see firsthand what 13 investigates reported just a few hours earlier, that dehumidifiers like this one are catching fire all over the nation. More than 5.6 million dehumidifiers are now recalled. They've already caused more than $24 million in damage. And we're talking about hundreds of different models sold at big name stores across the country and on the internet. Last month, this homeowner in Kokomo just about lost his entire house. Last night, it was the Wood family in Westfield. Like most families, they didn't know about the danger. And they did not see the warning on Channel 13 that we broadcast just three hours before smoke and fire filled their house. We were busy playing games while you were having that wonderful story about the, the dehumidifiers because we did not catch it. But um, the police told us about it when they got here. The firemen told us about it. Several neighbors have told us about it. Had friends posting on Facebook to tell me about it. <laughs> so we're well informed now. Both the Wood family and firefighters say if you haven't checked your dehumidifier already, do it now. Uh, whether you're sure that you have the, the one that's on the recall list or not, get them unplugged and quit using them. Go check if you have a dehumidifier, and if it's on that recall list, take care of that. Until you find out, I would unplug it and take it out of use until you find out what you need to do with that item that's on recall. Well, you know, the scary part is to think what would have happened uh. had the Wood family not been home at the time, or even worse, had they been sleeping sure. when all this happened. They say having a big fire extinguisher probably saved the entire house. Wow. So what if we have one of these? What should we do? Yeah, we really do right now. If, if you have a dehumidifier in your home, we want you to check to see if it's on the recall list. You can go to WTHR.com. We've got all the information you'll need right there. And we're still doing research on the dehumidifier in the Wood home because it appears that one may have been left off the recall list, which wow. creates a whole new set of concerns. Sure. Well, we know you'll continue to follow it, Bob. Thanks. We will. Please take a moment and, and check your dehumidifier at home right now. Definitely. Thank you.